Hi everyone, this is Ramalinga Prasad Kuppa. Welcome to my channel, Pharma World. Today's topic is loss on drying, that is LOD, as per USP 731. Let us understand what is loss on drying, that is LOD. It is the amount of volatile matter of any kind that is driven off under the conditions specified. By definition, loss and drying means how much amount of volatile matter present in the product. Generally, it will be very low. After isolation of the product in the final stage, some amount of residual solvents of the process may be retained in the product. The purpose of this test is to estimate that. The purpose of the test is to estimate unwanted volatile matter present in the product. It could be traces of process solvents and or water present in the product. So the process solvents could be any organic solvent or even water. If the volatile matter is only water, the, this method may be replaced with the Kalfischer titration method. Though the LOD will give information on volatiles, Kalfischer titration is very specific for estimation of water content. Also, it is very less time-consuming test. LOD test is referred as section 2.2.32 in EP and section 2.4.19 in IP, the Indian Pharmacopoeia. As a path forward, let us see how the procedure works. The first step is, unless otherwise prescribed in the individual monograph, it is necessary to take about 1 gram or 2 grams of the sample. Take about 1 gram or 2 grams of the sample for testing. As a rule, if the volatile matter is more, take lesser amount and if the volatile matter is less, take higher amount of the sample. But let it be between 1 gram and 2 grams. Mix the sample thoroughly to make it uniform. Get a representative uniform sample by mixing it thoroughly. If the product has larger crystals, quickly and gently crush to a size of approximately 2 millimeters. If the sample has larger crystals than 2 mm, quickly and gently crush them to approximately 2 mm in size. Never allow the product exposed too long to uncontrolled atmosphere. The surrounding atmospheric conditions may also contribute to the volatile matter. So never expose the sample too long before starting the test. Initiate the test within optimum time. The second step is to select suitable clean and dry weighing bottle with adequate depth along with fitting lid. There are specific thin wide mouthed hollow weighing bottles with a firm fitting lid for LOD test. Try to avoid using petri dishes. Results will not be consistent for sensitive products if you use petri dishes for LOD test. Dry the weighing bottle with lid in open condition for 30 minutes at the specified temperature at which LOD test is conducted. You have to dry the empty clean LOD bottle at the specified temperature for 30 minutes. This should be recorded as an objective evidence. 
take out carefully and place in a desiccator and cool to room temperature here also the time of cooling may also be recorded take the tear weight and transfer the sample into it close the lid and gently tap sideways to spread uniformly after cooling take adequate sample into the lvd bottle close the lid to avoid any loss and gently tap sideways to make a uniform bed of sample in the lvd bottle in this the third step is to see that the volume is not more than 5 mm but if the density of the product is very low it may be allowed up to 10 mm the next step is to ensure that the sample is around 5 mm thick in the bottle for samples of higher bulk density between uh, 0.8 grams per ml and above this volume will be okay but if the material is too fluffy and with a bulk density of less than 0.5 grams per ml you will have more volume in such cases the thickness could be up to 10 mm set the oven temperature as prescribed in the individual monograph the temperature should be maintained within 2 degrees centigrade throughout the drying operation set the oven temperature as specified in the individual monograph this must be done much before the start of the test by the time you start the test the oven should be ready with the required temperature it is also important to see that the temperature is maintained within 2 degrees centigrade throughout the analysis data loggers with a provision to record the temperature at a specified interval say every half an hour is recommended as an objective evidence that the temperature is maintained throughout the test place the weighing bottle in the oven carefully keeping the lid half open or keep by the side continue the drying operation for the specified time as per the individual monograph step 4 is to take out the weighing bottle carefully closing the lid firmly and transfer into the desiccator with active silica gel so after the specified time take out carefully the lvd bottle into a desiccator with active silica gel don't close the lid of the lvd bottle immediately there is a possibility of vacuum generation and it may be difficult to open the bottle later close the lid after a couple of minutes after cooling in the desiccator cool the bottle it is recommended to cool to same time as done while cooling the empty bottle in the initial step after cooling to room temperature calculate the loss and drying as follows w2 minus w3 into 100 divided by w2 minus w1 where w3 is the weight of bottle after drying with sample w2 is initial weight of the bottle with sample w1 is the weight of the empty bottle that is the tear weight let us see other important points to consider when there is a prescription to dry to constant weight it should be understood as the specification dried to constant weight means that the drying shall be continued until two consecutive weighings do not differ by more than 0.50 mg per gram of substance taken the second weighing following an additional hour of drying 
see the condition the difference should not be more than 0.50 milligrams per gram of the sample taken please note this point see this example to understand better weight of the weighing bottle after drying for prescribed time is 23.5075 grams with 1 gram of sample it means that the second weight after one hour, one hour additional drying should be not more than 23.5070 see the difference the difference is only 0.50 milligrams which is 0.0005 grams in this example the sample weight is only 1 gram so the allowed the variation is not more than 0.005 grams only but if the sample is 2 grams then the difference could be double that means it could be 0.0010 grams i hope you understood this important point the difference should be 0.50 milligrams per gram of the sample so it depends on the total amount of sample taken i hope you understood this there should be a provision to record the following test reports for lod drying of clean and dry weighing bottle for 30 minutes before starting the lod test time to cool to room temperature second weight when dried to constant weight the detailed sop on lod should include all these aspects there should be a provision to record all this information in the sop there are other types of lod tests also using desiccator under vacuum under high vacuum etc the requirements are also described in these pharmacopias these aspects are not discussed in this video there is one more point in this when there is a possibility of the product melting at the temperature where lod test is being carried out it is necessary to cool the sample for about an hour or two about 5 to 10 degrees below the melting point of the product before carrying out the lod test i hope that the intent of the lod test is understood well try to review your lod sop and incorporate all these aspects into it similar information is provided in chapter 2.2.32 of ep and 2.4.19 of ip the indian pharmacopoeia thanks for watching for more videos please do subscribe like and share thank you